All right, guys, so we have our application up and running, our boilerplate app. And what I want to do is blow everything away in index.android.js. So I'm just going to get rid of everything. And we're going to start from scratch. And we're going to look at this as basically our main, um, main component. And any other component we build, we'll build that in a separate file and bring it into here. And then if we want to build out the iOS app, we can do the same thing there. We'll just bring in our, our components. All right, so first thing we're going to do here is just bring in React. Okay, so we need to say import React and component. And that's going to be from React. All right. Next thing we want to do is bring in anything we want from React Native. Okay, so we'll say import, and we need to bring in this thing called App Registry. And App Registry is basically the JavaScript entry point to running all Re React Native applications. All right, so you'll see below that our components are going to—they're going to register themselves with App Registry dot register component. All right. Now, anything you want to bring in from React Native goes in here. We're going to bring in two things here. One is text and one is view. All right. And that should be from React dash native. All right. So those are the imports we need right now. Now, let's go over this real quick. So view is the most fundamental component for building a UI with React Native. It's a container that supports layouts with Flexbox, with style, uh, touch handling, accessory controls. Um, it basically maps directly to the native view uh, equivalent on whatever platform you're running on, whether it's Android or iOS. All right, so as I mentioned earlier in, uh, in the last section, React Native uses native components, and Vue is one of them. All right. Um, now, text is a React component for displaying text. It supports nesting, styling, and touch handling. All right. So these are very common. These are going to be used in just about every component. All right. So that's all we're going to import for now. Uh, now, what we want to do is create our class. All right. So we're going to say export default class and let's call it my mobile app so the name of the application and then we're going to extend component which is coming in from react okay right here all right and then what we want to do in here is put in our render so you'll see that this looks very similar to just a regular react js component we have all of our our uh, lifecycle hooks including render which is required now render we're going to just return oops i want that to be parentheses so we can return something here um, now with react js we would normally do maybe a div or something like that but we're going to actually use the view the view container so we want to go like that all right, and then in here, let's just say hello. All right, so that's what we'll render. Now down here, as I said, we want to take that app registry and we want to call register component. So register component, and we want to put in here uh, my mobile app. And then we're just going to put in a second parameter, which will be an arrow function. And that's just going to go to my mobile app. Just like that. All right, so we should be able to actually render this. So let's save it. And if we go over here and double tap R. OK, so it says raw text hello must be wrapped in explicit text component. OK, so apparently we can't just put the text like this. We actually have to use this text component, which is really simple. We just got to wrap it just like that. And we'll save it. 
go ahead and we can click this reload down here or do the double R. And now you can see we get hello. Now when it comes to debugging and using the console, there's a few things we can do. What I like to do is use the uh, the log Android command so we can open another uh, another command line or terminal. But this uh, Visual Studio Code editor that I'm using actually has a built in console we can use. So I'm going to use that. So if we go to view and then integrated terminal, you'll see it'll open up a, a command line down here. And what I'm going to do is just say react dash native and we're going to say log dash Android. And you can you could do this in any command line. It doesn't have to be within uh, Visual Studio Code. OK, so now this is going to log out any errors we have. If we do a console log, it should show. So, for example, if I go in the render and I say console.log and let's say testing, we'll save that. Go over here and reload and you can see that it's logging out testing. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of that console log. Now, what I want to do is start to create our application components because I don't want to really edit this file. Um, I want to do as little as possible in this file and the index iOS. Uh, we want to build our app somewhere else and then just bring it in, import it into these files. So let's create a folder and we'll call this app. Okay, and then inside app, let's put another, another folder called components. And let's create a folder for our component here. We'll just call it component one. Actually, you know what? Let's let's call it something else. Let's call it simple component one. All right. And notice that I'm using um, uh, capital. I'm starting with a capital and then uh, every other word is capital. So we're going to use camel case for our component names. All right. Um, so inside here, let's create a file with the same name. We'll call it simple component one dot JS. All right. So this is our component file. Now we're going to do the same stuff we did here as far as importing our classes and all that. So let's go ahead and save that or copy that paste that in here. And then what we'll do is change the class name to simple component one. We want to extend component and then we're also going to change it down here. And right here. OK, and let's just change hello to simple component one and we're going to save it and then we'll go to our index Android and we're going to import that. OK, so that's going to be from. And let's see, we want to do dot slash app slash components slash simple component one slash simple component one. And then we should just be able to add that in down here. Just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and save it. And we'll reload. And we get our simple component one. All right, and all we would have to do is in the index iOS, we could virtually just copy this, put that in there like that, save it, and then it's going to be an iOS app. Okay, we can just include our React native components into these two files. All right, but from now on, we're just going to work in the Android as long as we're in Windows. Um, just because I don't want to have to update both files. We'll do that at the very end. All right, now you can see how we can create components 
import them in. So in the next video, we're going to create another component and we're going to move on to uh, different features. So we're going to get into properties uh, as well as state and some other basic React concepts that I'll show you how to implement in React Native.